The prosecution has not introduced drug abuse as an issue in this case. Order. Order. Mr. Baldwin, will you advise your client the next time he opens his mouth, I will slap him with a contempt citation? I will, Your Honor. Scotty, I want you to sit down and shut up. No. Nail him with a sidebar. I will as soon as you stop interrupting. Now sit down. We request a sidebar, Your Honor. Approach the bench. Hey, can he stop this? No, no not if they have evidence to back this thing up. The prosecution has just dropped a bomb with my name on it. Did you have a good time at school today? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, what did you do? Played games and stuff. Oh, really? What kind of stuff? Mm, I played tag and kickball. You know, oh. I wanted to go play in my room now. Oh, oh, Serena, um, don't you want to have a snack first, huh? No, thank you. Mommy's waiting for me. Um, uh, Serena, how would you like to invite Missy to come over and play today? She's such a nice little girl. No, thank you. I don't want to play with anybody but Mommy. I hated leaving my father in that courtroom today. I know, I know. I'm sure Scott understands, Karen. He knows your job is in the hospital. At least I could do something here. I couldn't do anything. I felt so helpless, it was driving me crazy. Well, crazy people do not function well. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm trying to leave my personal problems at home. All right, listen. I got a way you can escape from. This friend of mine offered me the use of his cabin in the mountains for New Year's. Oh, uh, yeah? It is so beautiful, Karen. You go on this wooded road for about five or six miles, and then it goes off-road for a little bit, and at the end is this beautiful cabin. Oh, that sounds amazing. I mean, I figured it's a great alternative to all this noisy hoopla stuff that they do here. So, you want to come? Oh, just the two of us? Yeah, why not? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't think... I can, thank you. I mean, I have to stay here and, you know, help take care of Scott with his trial and everything. Karen, and... I don't think court even has session during the holidays. And maybe you could get a few days off. <laughs> with our busy schedules and they're always changing all the time, I don't think we maybe can Maybe Matt or off. Julie could cover for us, okay? I don't, I don't know. It's... Karen, we could both use a break. I don't think it's a very good idea. I don't want to. Just then what? Well, you know, isn't it obvious? <laughs> no. If we go there together, don't you think... What? We might, you know, end up in bed. You mean together? <laughs> Shut up, yes. Man, I am shocked. <laughs> Be quiet, leave me alone. Do you really think that you could get me to bed on a third date? No, I mean, I'm sorry. I was, I was way out of line. I should say so. I mean, here I am picturing sleigh rides, snowball fights, and okay, maybe a hike in the woods. A bed? I was talking about sleep. I don't know what you were thinking well, about. Sleep this. is not a requirement of the trip. That's good, because I know you want to take it slow, Mr. I don't want to be the rebound guy. <laughs> Of course, the temperature may drop below zero, in which case you'll be begging me to perform some outdoor survival techniques. <laughs> yeah, what would those be? Otherwise known as cuddling. But other than that, I promise you, I will be as good as gold. Well, I mean, it sounds very inviting. Then you'll go? 
I can't. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you. Then what is it? We're only human, you know? It's exactly my point. And as humans, we need to have fun every once in a while, not be cooped up in this hospital or in courtrooms. We need to get out and breathe some fresh air. Dr. Wexler, 5563. Dr. Karen Wexler, 5563. Yeah. I gotta go. I'm expecting some test results Listen back. To me. Think about it. Okay? How can I not? Hi. What? What happened? Brace yourself. Prosecution says they have a surprise witness who's going to testify that he's been selling drugs to you for the last two years. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Is it, Scotty? Now, is it? I was in the wilds of Canada, big Saturday. I was hanging around the barbershop getting a flat top. All right. All right, then I'm going to move for a mistrial. His name wasn't on their witness list. Well, what did they think? This is amateur hour? Your Honor, Mr. Conklin's remarks concerning drug abuse were outside the purview of direct testimony. They're also irrelevant to the charges of kidnapping. And they were inserted by the connivance of Mr. Cryer here for the express purpose of inflaming this jury. Your Honor, this goes directly to motive. We intend to prove that Mr. Baldwin is an habitual drug user in addition to being a confirmed gambler. Both of these habits combined increased his need for cash, thereby motivating the kidnapping. Mr. Cryer, I was not finished. Your Honor, Mr. Conklin's testimony is now tainted and it should be stricken from the record in its entirety. So I move for a mistrial and for the immediate dismissal of all charges. This court feels it could be relevant as to motive. In any event, that's for the jury to decide. Motion for mistrial denied. Oh, I don't believe this. Very well, Your Honor. Uh, we request uh, continuance so that we can uh, evaluate this uh, mystery witness. Also need uh, time to depose that person. Continuance granted. This trial will resume on a date to be decided after I discuss the time needed by the defense to accomplish their needs. This court is adjourned. Mr. Cryer, I will see you in chambers. I wonder where the hell they got that information. Well, that psychopath Stanton. A couple of months ago, he, he slipped me a Mickey. I started hallucinating, and I, I even had a conversation with my dead wife. I assume the prosecution knows about that. Man. Well, of course they know about it. I was arrested for it. He rigged that, too. Then I had Eve give me some tests, and of course they came back positive for hallucinogens. You're sure not making this very easy for me, you know. I know, but still, a one-time drug reaction doesn't make me some kind of habitual drug user. Grandma, I changed my mind about the snack. Can I have some of those cookies you have? Oh, in a minute, honey, I can't find my address book. How did you know that I bake cookies? Mommy told me. You smelled them, didn't you? No, Mommy told me. You haven't seen my address book, have you? No, but I know how to find it. How? I'll go ask Mommy. Serena, you didn't hide my address book, did you? No, Grandma. Cross my heart. Uh-huh. I'll go ask her right now. Oh, okay. Serena, when you get back, we'll have the cookies. Okay. Okay. Hello? Oh, hello, Kevin. It's Gail. Could I ask you for a little uh, professional advice. Of course. Well, uh, Kevin, Serena has created this very vivid fantasy about her mother, and she's acting it out, and, uh, you know, being her grandmother, we're just so close that I, I can't seem to evaluate this situation very objectively. Would you like me to have a look? Oh, if you would, it'd be great. Sure, when's convenient. The sooner the better. 
I'm really getting a little worried, Kevin. I'll be right there. Uh-oh. What's that dreamy look about? <sighs> oh, uh, nothing but trouble. <laughs> Can't be a patient. No, <clears throat> that's a doctor. Joe! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he asked me to go away with him for the weekend up to the mountains. Wow! <laughs> I told him I'd think about it, though. So, do you want to go? Yes, of course I want to go, but, you know, I don't think I'm ready to, you know. So, you two haven't? No, why? Did you think we had? Oh, the thought crossed my mind. I just got divorced. And... Oh, hey, it happened. <laughs> I'm not a saint, so I wanted to, but um, <laughs> it didn't work out, so. You and Frank, you guys had... Uh... No, no. Why, did you think we had? Well, yeah, I mean, you guys live under the same uh, roof. And... Well, we haven't. <laughs> I haven't in such a long time, you know, I guess I'm sort of afraid. To. You know, then wait. You'll you'll know when the time is right. Yeah. I guess I, I thought it was right with Jagger. And, um, where that got me. <laughs> hey, better a good divorce than a bad marriage. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I uh, I was thinking about my parents. Why are they getting divorced? After Dad sleeping with Eve and Mom sleeping with Chris, I think so. Julie, please tell me you're joking. I wish I could. I'm sorry. Your life is turning into a soap opera, Julie. Well, I just saw Eve and Chris together in the hallway, and I threw a fit. Oh, jeez. Toxic overload. I don't blame you. Oh, well, Burgess saw it. Now she's on my case. She says I'm too emotional. You know, and that's a problem. People spend years in therapy trying to get in touch with their emotions. Uh, yeah, well, she's the one writing the evaluation. Yeah, she is. Maybe you should just stay calm, really. Smooth it over, maybe even go apologize to even Chris. Uh, I know, I know, that's not what you want to do, but we have to work together, and it's better that than losing your job. I suppose you're right. But I'd rather eat a worm. I mean, I know we all create escapes one way or the other, but what I'm afraid of is that she's losing touch with reality. I mean, what if she decides suddenly to to just go right into this fantasy completely? Well, I think that's unlikely. Children usually know that their imaginary friends aren't real. Uh, well, you'll see. I mean, she will fight you tooth and nail in that question. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey, Kevin, my son, I heard you. Well, look at you. You better get over here and give me a big hug. Okay. Oh, my gosh, you're getting so big and strong. How are you doing? Great. Great? Well, that's pretty good to hear. It's good to see you with a big old smile on your face. So how come things are so good? Because Mommy's here and I get to play with her. Listen, if you need anything, any help at all, you just let me know, okay? Well, you know a good hit man? I can take another crack at him. Uh, knock it off, you guys. Here comes Garcia. Hey. Yeah. I got here as quick as I can. Thanks for coming. What have you got for us? Their witnesses is a guy named Dewey Blake. Who's that? He's a cocaine dealer I busted a year and a half ago. Well, what's his connection to the prosecution? Boy, cut a dealer, stay out of jail. He testifies against other drug dealers. Well, I'm not a drug dealer. No, this is the first time he's testified against a customer. Well, I'm not a customer either. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Well, let's get Mac on Blake's tail. I'm sure Rex is paying him, too. I'll set it up. I'll do something to impeach his testimony. That's going to be tough. He's been an excellent witness so far. Three convictions, thanks to him. Oh, for heaven's sakes, let's not make it four. Stop! Stop! I have to get Johnny off the school bus. It's all right, Mrs. Osterman. We're just going I have to get my son. I have to... Watch that, Ivy. Okay. She's going to tear it up. Mrs. Osterman, you have to calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Okay, just relax. Do you need some help? Okay. Okay. Distract her while I retape her, Ivy. All right, all right. Mrs. Osterman. Mrs. Osterman? Hi. I know your son, Johnny. He's such a nice boy. 
What do you say that you let me take him off the school bus today, okay? Huh? Promise? I promise. All right? <laughs> now, you be a good patient, and you let this nice nurse take you down to x-ray. Yeah. I'll see you later, okay? Uh, thanks for the help. No problem. Got a minute? What for? There's a situation between us that we need to deal with. Oh, right. You mean the situation where you've been treating me like garbage? I guess I deserve that. I've been so angry at everything. And I've been taking it out on you and some of the others. But especially you. It's been very destructive, and I'm sorry. That took a lot of guts. It's as close as I can come to an apology. Close is good enough for me. Listen, what do you say we just call it a truce and leave it at that? Sometimes I wish I were more like you. <laughs> no, you don't. Ugh. Too bad you only take my insults seriously. Listen, do you want this truce or not? I should. Is that enough? That's an honest answer, and yes, that is. Dr. Lambert? Yes. Eve Lambert? Yes. For you? Oh, this can't be good. What is it? It's a subpoena to testify against Scott. You awake? Apparently. <clears throat> so that offer of yours for New Year's Eve, is that still open? Yes, it is. <laughs> Good, because um, I'd like to go. Great. <laughs> Great. Um, did I tell you the guy that owns the cabin has these wooden sleds? They must be like 50 years old. And the lack of steering creates this excitement when you're flying down the icy slopes. Are you trying to talk me out of going? I was just kidding. But Karen, it is so magical. It sounds magical. I can't wait. Me neither. So what kind of games do you play with your mommy? We have tea parties. And she tells me stories about daddy. Really? Can you tell me one of the stories? Sure. She says everything is going to be okay for him. Well, I think that's great news. What a wonderful message to give to your daddy. It's very normal. Grandma, I asked Mommy where your address book is. Oh, well, what did she say? She says it's on top of that big chest. Only I can't reach it. Serena, are you sure you're not playing a trick on Grandma? I don't think she could reach that high even if standing on a chair. Oh, my gosh, it is here. Mommy was right. I told you. I hear prison is uh, like that commercial on television where the roaches check in, but they never check out. Pity. Your daughter is going to miss you, but I will take very good care of her. You know, you're like a fly on the wall of my life. And one of these days, very soon, Stan, I am going to squash you. Just like the bug that you are. Buzz, buzz. I want to get my hands around that guy's throat so badly. I know. Do it, but don't let anybody see you. You got to calm down here. This drives me crazy. You know, Danielle is dead. And that guy, that guy's running loose, huh? I know, I know, I know what... Been down that road, he's just trying to goad us here. Hey, Scott. I got a subpoena. What's this all about? Well, it means it's just a... Pure in court. Why? Why me? I don't know anything about the kidnapping. Eve, I don't know. I don't know. I hate surprises, and I especially hate them in the middle of a trial. Now what? It's the prosecution witness list. It's their support for their theory that you're a drug user. There's a Dr. Bennett Devlin, Eve Lambert, 
and an officer wrecked something or other. Oh, he's that cop that arrested me for that DWI. Oh, no. Now I get it. Let me see that. Rhonda, Lucy, everybody that saw me flip out on drugs. I call all my friends to stand so that they can crucify me in an open court. This is Charles Gibson. And Lisa McCree. Tomorrow, Leonardo DiCaprio for part one of our special look at the most expensive movie ever made, Titanic. Plus seasonal secrets from Emeril Lagasse. That's tomorrow on Good Morning America. Can Adam win Liza's heart back? Watch what happens on All My Children Today.